5 Best Homeowner Zero Turn Mowers If you're a homeowner looking for the best zero-turn mower, you've come to the right place. A zero-turn mower can be a large investment for any homeowner so it is important that you choose the best mower for your situation. In this video, I will compare residential to commercial mowers and look at the top 5 homeowner zero-turn mowers. How we chose the best zero-turn mowers. If you followed my blog or channel for any amount of time, you know my story. I have experience in the lawn care industry and the mower manufacturer industry. I've seen all of the behind the scenes and used many different mowers extensively. I chose each of the best mowers on this list by extensively researching and demoing each mower. I didn't only demo these mowers, but I took a very close look at every inch of these mowers. Of course, some of this will be my opinion and a bit of my personal preference, but I try my best to keep an objective perspective of every mower I test. Residential versus Commercial Almost every brand has two lineups, one for residential or consumers and the other is for commercial and business use. The residentials will not have as good of engines or transaxles, and the frames will not be as sturdy. The deck sizes are usually smaller, and they are not made of the same gauge steel. Commercial zero turns have more power and are built more durable with higher quality material. Commercial zero turns have better engines, transmissions, decks, spindles, and frames. Basically, the entire mower is made to cut grass every day. Toro Timecutter vs Toro 6000 Series Mowers I get asked often for an example of the difference between a commercial and residential mower. There are actually quite drastic differences between the two. For this example, I will use the Toro Timecutter and Toro 6000 series. The most noticeable differences between these mowers are the frame and deck material, engine size and type, transmissions, speed, fuel capacity, and warranty. Overall, the commercial mower, like the Toro 6000, is going to be much larger, fast, and capable. Almost every aspect of the mower will be larger than a typical residential zero-turn mower. Of course, a commercial mower comes with a much higher price as well. Determining which mower is right for you is going to depend on your specific situation largely. 5 Best Residential Zero-Turn Mowers 1. Cub Cadet ZT-1 The Cub Cadet ZT-1 and the entire ZT series are some of the best residential zero-turn mowers on the market. They have some of the best specs and features this level of mower has to offer. The ZT-1 mower is great for the homeowner with a fairly large yard. There are several different deck sizes and come with reliable engines and transaxles. The wide wheelbase provides good stability on small hills. The ZT-154P model has new front caster suspension. Whether this does much is up for debate. Nonetheless, it's a cool feature. This mower provides a high quality of cut and built very well for a residential mower. There is also a ZT-1 electric model that has been released. This has mixed reviews and I honestly haven't demoed this mower yet so I can't say much. Specifications. Deck width. 52 and 54 inches. Engine. Kawasaki FR and Kohler 7000. Drive system. Hydro Gear EZT. Speed. 7 miles per hour. Fuel capacity, 3.5 gallons. Warranty, 3 years. 2. Hustler Raptor. The Hustler Raptor received a pretty big upgrade in 2020. This definitely caught my eye and has quickly become one of my favorite zero-turn mowers for homeowners. It not only looks awesome, but it has some really great features. This mower is built very well and will definitely last any homeowner a very long time. There are several different models in the Raptor lineup that are sure to meet your needs. There are four models, X, XL, XD, XDX. The Hustler Raptor comes in different size decks, 42 to 60 inches, giving you the several options that fit your needs. Depending on the model, the mower comes with a Hydro Gear EZT, ZT2800, or ZT3100. 
If your budget allows, I would definitely try to get either the XD or XDX for the upgraded transmission. The large rear wheel tires and wide wheelbase make this mower pretty good on hills. The Raptor comes with several different Kawasaki engine options depending on the model. Each of these engines are perfect for a homeowner's zero turn. Specifications. Deck size. 42, 48 inches, 54 inches, and 60. Engine. Kawasaki FR. Drive system. Hydro Gear EZT, ZT2800, and ZT3100. Speed. Up to 8 miles per hour. Fuel capacity. 3 gallons. Warranty. 3 years. 3. Toro Time Cutter. The Toro Time Cutter is a great budget buy. They have some good features and some beefier models in the lineup that may be better suited for you if you have a larger yard. The Time Cutter also has some very inexpensive models that are good for the homeowner with a fairly small yard, 1 to 2 acres. The good part about the Time Cutter is Toro is a well respected name in the industry that has been around a long time. This goes a long way because they are held to a high standard. The Time Cutter has several engine options including Kohler, Kawasaki, and Toro. Personally, I would go with the Kohler or Kawasaki engines over the Toro ones. These mowers feature Hydro Gear ZT2100, EZT, and ZT2800 transaxles. The ZT2100 and EZT transaxles aren't the best, but they keep the price of the mowers down. The Time Cutter has a Smart Speed feature that allows for mow, trim, and tow settings. There are a couple models with my ride suspension. I would recommend getting one of these models if your budget allows. Specifications. Deck width, 34, 42, 50 inches, 54 inches, and 60. Engine. Kohler, Kawasaki, and Toro. Drive system. Hydro Gear ZT2100, EZT, and ZT2800. Speed. 7 miles per hour. Fuel capacity. 3 gallons. Warranty. 3 years. 4. Arians Icon. The Arians Icon mower is a very well-built residential zero-turn mower. The original Arians Icon X has now been replaced by the XD model. It has a lot of similarities to the Cub Cadet mower. That new little, residential rollover protection system, is becoming a trend and Arians recently jumped on this train. Overall, this is a solid mower with great specs and an even better company behind the name. The Icon XD features a deck size ranging from 42 inches to 60 inches. There are Kohler 7000 and Kawasaki FR engine options available. The mowers have Hydro Gear EZT transaxles. Again, not the best but common among residential mowers. The mower is designed for stability, comfort, and reliability for long-lasting hours. The cutting deck provides a very high quality of cut and is built to last. Overall, the Arians Icon XD is a solid zero turn that will be great for most homeowners with a lawn under 3 acres. Specifications. Deck size, 52 and 60 inches. Engine. Kawasaki FR and Kohler 7000. Drive system. Hydro Gear EZT speed 7 miles per hour fuel capacity 2.8 gallons warranty 3 years 5 john deere z track 300 series of course how could i not include john deere the john deere z track 300 series is a solid residential mower and has a great brand behind it personally john deere isn't my favorite mower on the market but i do give respect where it's due I think the Z-Track 300 series is an overall good mower that will be perfect for the average homeowner. They are well built and have all the features that many comparable mowers have. You can't really go wrong with a John Deere mower. They come in various deck sizes including 42, 48, and 54 inch. These mowers are powered by either a Briggs & Stratton Intec or ELS engine. These definitely aren't that great. I wish they had Kawasaki or Kohler options as well.
Like most of the other mowers, the Z300 series also has Hydro Gear EZT transaxles. Overall, the John Deere Z300 series isn't bad. It has everything needed for a homeowner mower. The engine is my only concern on these. Specifications. Cut width. 42, 48 inches, and 54. Engine. Intec or else. Drive system. Hydro Gear EZT. Speed. 7 miles per hour. Fuel capacity. 2.1 gallons. Warranty. 2 years. There you have it. The 5 best homeowner zero turn mowers. As you look at these options, we hope they will help you decide which type of mower you need. As I mentioned, it all depends on the property and the owner's preferences. Looking at the scenarios can save time and money, so always choose wisely. What do you think is the best zero turn mower? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.